Got a PM interview coming up? Got all the books, watched all the videos, learned all the frameworks? Great. Now let me give you the list of what you really need. Let's talk about how to prepare for a PM interview. It gets a little bit overwhelming with the amount of stuff that's available online. Let me break it down for you. This list right here is all you need to prepare for a PM interview. What is going on? My name is Alex. On this channel, we talk about getting into the product management career, up-leveling your skills, and crushing the PM interview. By the end of this video, you're going to have a blueprint of exactly what you need to study to do well on your PM interview. Make sure to smash the like button. As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also subscribe to my practical product management newsletter, link in the description, where I will share my favorite tools and frameworks for product management. So here it is. Here's the blueprint. I'm going to give it to you up front. You don't have to wait. But if you want to find out my recommended structure of actually studying through this stuff, make sure you stick around to the end. Here are the core areas you need to know. Product design and improvement. Business and strategy strategy, analytical thinking and execution, behavioral questions, and technical questions. Those are the five areas you need to study to do well in the PM interview. Almost all of the questions you're going to be asked have to do with one or more of these areas. How do you best prepare for this? Depending on how serious you are about getting into product management, I would recommend that everybody, whether you're a seasoned PM veteran or you're just getting into the field, everybody should spend about a month, possibly two or three months, really getting good at these interviews. Why do I think it's important? Because if you're going to be working for a company, not for yourself or a startup, your compensation is actually going to be a function of how well you do on the interviews. The better you do in the interviews, the more competing offers you get, the higher your total compensation is going to be. And we're talking about a difference of potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. Certainly over the course of multiple years, it could balloon even to millions of dollars. I'm not exaggerating. If you think about your career over the next five to 10 years, the earnings of a product manager are likely to be very significant if you stay in top tech or even anywhere near the big tech companies. In today's economic climate, in the middle of 2023, it is a little bit harder to get the best positions with the highest compensation. But if you zoom out and look from a long-term perspective, over the course of 10 years, you're likely to switch around multiple jobs, multiple companies, and you are likely going to get higher and higher compensation as the job will continue to be in demand. Each time you switch positions or you switch companies, I recommend you study this again. Dedicate approximately a week to each of these areas, the five areas that we discussed, where you practice, you understand the fundamentals, you correlate that with the work that you've done, with the experience that you have, but also you do the mock interviews. You practice by yourself, record yourself, practice with a buddy, practice with somebody else that's going through the interviews, or even with a colleague that's interested in the career, or with a mentor at work. There's plenty of people that are going to be able to do these mock interviews with you, and you really want to try to get a variety of people as your potential interviewers. I've done hundreds of interviews at Google and at other companies for product management, and I try to give variation whenever I'm speaking to my clients, but I still recommend recommend that you try a variety of different people in the role of the interviewer, asking you a variety of these questions in each of these five areas. Even if you're an experienced product management leader who has teams of their own, who's launched multiple products like I have, you're still going to need to practice the interviews themselves. You're still going to need to practice each one of these areas, the specifics, the potential frameworks and structures that you could use, going through a lot of different iterations, internal products, external products. There's a lot of variation within each. We're not going to go over them here. But the point that I want to drive to you here is that this is the preferred study method. Is you take one of these areas and you study it thoroughly for about a week, including daily practice if you can, daily sessions, one or two sessions. After a week, you move on to the next topic so that after five weeks, you've put in a good amount of time to each of these areas. After that, I would recommend spending another two to three weeks synthesizing all of it together and practicing different things, practicing a variety of these areas. And finally, I want you to internalize a lot of the stuff that you're doing as you're practicing. I want you to internalize and try to have fun with it because I want you to arrive at the conclusion of this one or two or three months of practice. I want you to arrive at a place where you're having fun during these sessions. You're making progress. You're dealing with each question like a fun puzzle or a business case to unlock. All right, so that's the strategy. We're going to dive deep into each topic for one week. We're going to practice every day. And then at the conclusion of these five weeks, we're going to try to synthesize for two to three weeks all of these together. Eventually, we're trying to get to a place where we're internalizing the framework. We are using them because the logical thing to do and not because that's what we've memorized. And you're getting to a place where you're really enjoying the process. The next level is beyond these five areas. I want you to think about how you can demonstrate certain aspects of the product management fundamentals within your interview answer. Think about these general areas. These are the areas that I want you to feel comfortable in and be able to integrate into your interview answer. Software development concepts in general. How does software get built by people? 
What are the different ways? What are the typical problems that arise? The concept of road mapping and charting a course for the team, collaborating with other stakeholders on making sure that the roadmaps align, taking targets, taking shared goals, crafting a vision for the product, aligning around a vision. The concept of collaboration in general, concept of soft influence, data analysis and statistics, experimental frameworks, setting up experiments, yielding results, dealing with common problems and issues that arise. The basics of computer science kind of goes hand in hand with the software development piece. Product design, helpful design, focus on customers, leadership. This one aligns with product vision, but leading the team. How do we study these five areas that we talked about? Product design. The common cases are design a new product, imagine an existing product, pick a favorite product, something you like, something you don't, something physical, something digital, something out of this world, something mundane. You should have eight or 10 different buckets of product design. And as you go through this week of trying on and answering product design questions, make sure you're hitting all the buckets. You're mixing and matching these types of products with types of product questions, such as improving or creating or changing, worst or best. And I want you to mix and match so you feel comfortable with any permutation of these design questions. For strategy and business questions, these are known as case questions. It gives you some sort of hypothetical business situation. A lot of times it has to do with the strategy, what we should do, how we should try to accomplish the goals that we set, how should the business lean on its strengths and mitigate its weaknesses. Again, we want to use buckets. We think about big businesses, small businesses, physical businesses, digital business, businesses you use and businesses you don't know anything about. Same thing for different industries, same thing for different environments. U.S. based, non-U.S. based, completely innovative business versus extremely old world business, monopolistic business versus a perfect competition. The trick to this is variety. Just like with the product design questions, with strategy questions, you want to get that huge variety so that you feel comfortable in any situation. One more element I want to share here is combining product design and strategy together. Once you do well on product design, you do well on business and strategy, you can actually merge these together and come up with much more powerful insights for each question. That is, when you're asked a product strategy question, you can answer it, but also give some tidbits with product design. Simultaneously, when you're asked to improve a product, once you answer that question, you can also fill in a little bit of business and strategy to it to show that you're well-rounded in all PM skills. For the third area, this is analytical thinking, metrics, execution, questions, running experiments, making decisions, coming up with frameworks for those decisions, understanding trade-offs. I want you to take a variety of cases here and study through all of them so that you feel comfortable around all of them. Once you get comfortable at this area, you can start to combine it also with the product design. As you're designing a product, you might think through some of the metrics as well to demonstrate this part of the business. What we're really trying to do as we're getting better at this interviewing is we're trying to make you an excellent business person in the tech space. That's really the objective. We definitely want to apply all these skills in real life as well. The trick to doing them in an interview is nailing the time pressure and understanding the key attributes that a particular interviewer is looking for and delivering it to them. The next batch is technical. Here we're thinking about system design, our computer science fundamentals, everything that you've learned about building software, best practices, what to avoid. Questions will revolve around designing systems, designing products on a fundamental framework basis, and designing process. Finally, behavioral questions, probably the top 20 or 30 questions are gonna come up 80% of the time. There's no point to prepare for 100 different behavioral questions. You wanna really get a feel for top 10 types of questions in different situations. Again, small business, big business, tech, non-tech, small team, big team, independent contributor, management. You wanna have these stories ready to go, ideally from your own career. And if not, you want to understand which stories are adjacent to the thing that's being asked so you can leverage them. Get a feel for how to deliver them well and quickly and understand in which situations different questions can be applied. Finally, I do want you to take some time to learn about the company itself as you're going for the interview. You really want to understand the business of the company. How do they make their money? What is their strategy going forward? What are their top business drivers? What are some successes and failures of recent years? What are their big plans for the future? So the way that I do this is that I pick the company that I'm gonna be interviewing with and I answer key questions about this company, 10 questions. And if you wanna know these questions, sign up for my newsletter down below and I'll make sure to share the exact list of questions that I answer for each company that I interview with. You don't need to learn the entire balance sheet and quarterly financials, but you do wanna get a sense of what's happening. Part of being a product manager is understanding business, knowing about the latest technology and business news and understanding what line of work different companies are in. 
it's impossible to just learn these fundamentals and try to apply it at the interview. You've got to practice. I'm talking 20, 30, 40 mock interview sessions. You've got to get super comfortable. If you do 100 practice interviews, you're going to perform in the top 99%. You've invested significant time. What do you get back? What you get back is multiple offers, competing offers, higher compensation, faster career progression. Who do you mock with? Other candidates, groups online, people that want to switch into the product management career, mentors, internal, external. There's people that do this specifically. I'm happy to do mock interviews with you. Important, don't cram this stuff. Don't try to get through all of this, read cracking the PM interview and be done with it in a week. It really can't be crammed because it must be learned via practice. Even if you learn everything by heart, you won't be able to apply it. If you spend a lot of time doing mock interviews before each interview, you're gonna get extra hundreds of thousands of dollars over your career. Develop a curiosity about how things work and how they can be improved. Try to apply this everywhere in your life. Just get excited about the stuff. It will translate to the interview process as well. Leverage your experience so far. Make things personal. You've been building product for some time, a year, two, five, ten. Use that experience. Once you've done a few of these practice interview sessions, you're going to be more relaxed and therefore be able to use your experience. I recommend a one to three month training regimen depending on where you are in your career, how good you are with these interviews. Don't forget to repeat this process every time you switch jobs. Every time you look for another position, you're going to need to refresh your interview skills because unfortunately you lose these skills. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also sign up for my practical product management newsletter, link in the description below. I will share my favorite tips and tools that you can use in your own product management career. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. What else is there to say? I mean. Really, this whole video could have just been me saying, do 100 practice interviews, you're gonna make $100,000. Something like that. Maybe, maybe that'll be the thumbnail. 100,000 bucks, 100 interviews.